Hey, hey, pilots! Welcome to another exciting episode of War Robots. Today we're doing a little bit of Beacon Rush. I'm your host, Got Your Beacons, and we're going to be doing a Beacon Rush today in Canyon. As always, I open Canyon with my Zeus Fury. It's definitely one of my favorite bots on Canyon, and you're going to see why here in a second. Uh, when you, after capping this beacon, I'm going to get over to my, I call it one of my Fury Sweet Spots. A sweet spot for me is where you can stand with your Fury, support your team, cover a few beacons, and be protected. As I've uh, said in a few of my other videos, you can hide in plain sight with a Fury as long as you keep your chest protected. By right here in this spot, they can't hit me, but I can hit them. And that's a beautiful thing for being a Fury. You're slow. You can't move out of the way. So what do you do? You learn to hide in plain sight. So from here, I can support the center uh, beacon, obviously. They can't just sit there all day. I'm just going to keep wearing them down to nothing. Um, these uh, Zeus's pack a huge punch. It's just a matter of finding the right uh, bot with the right uh, kind of uh, shield. Now, I got a rhino coming after me, and that's a great. Come and get it. I probably have some guys to my left or to my right, my mates, that are probably going to go after him and take him down. And while he, they're doing that, I'm going to keep focusing on center. They really can't do much to me. Yes, they can loop in a few shots here and there, but I can still, from here, do a lot of damage on center and not worry about it. The sheet, that, that bridge is protecting me right now, too. Eventually, I'm sure they're going to come get me, and that's okay. But in the meantime, I can do a lot of damage. Oh, they finally got me. So I'm going to hop back in my Raven, uh, my uh, Death Button Raven, and uh, take out the guys who took me out. Remember, guys, you gotta do, you got to make sure you do payback. They're going to get you. Make sure you get them back. Take out those threats. Now that I'm uh, done that, I'm going to go back and see if I can support the center. I don't have the range that I do with my um, Zeus, so I might have to do a little bit more. And uh, yeah, you get too hot to that, close to that hot fire, you're going to get burned. And that didn't last very long. So I'm going to use something with a little bit better range. My um, RDB uh, Griffin here with uh, the Talumbas and the CRV pins. They have a lot better range. you got to use a little more patience. They take a little longer to load up. They don't have as much instant impact power as the Orkins and uh, Panadas, but they still do a great um, amount of damage. And the great thing about them, really, is their range. You can do a lot of long range and medium range um, damage with them, and that's important on a big map like Canyon. You don't want to get too close to, those, to their Terrans and their mags. So if you can stay a little bit distance and then still pick and time your shots like something like that and help take down some of the um, the res, that's great. Or you got these guys that are kind of hiding in a little sweet spot like that guy is. I can shoot to the right or to the left of that and still get some damage on him with my splash that the um, that the, the Talumbas give you. So um, make sure you always take advantage of your splash weapons as much as possible. Don't waste them on a Terran if, or on a Ansel shield if you're the only one shooting. I'm going to see if I can get this guy. Ba boom, boom, boom. <laughs> as my uh, dear friend Miss Robinson would say. So, um, yeah, she, she's the... She's the master of the Ravens. Anyway, so I'm going to zip right into another bot. I was almost down to nothing. So I'm taking my Avenger Carney. This is a great um, support bot. Those Avengers have a lot of range. 500 meters is great. And they seem like they have endless clips. You can fire and fire and fire and fire. They just seem to shoot forever. It's awesome. Well, our hard work early on in the match is starting to pay off because they are down to just about one bot. Now, this is probably not his last spot. He might spawn back up. So because of that, when we do take him out, I'm not going to run right up there. I'm going to see, yep, there he is. So I'm going to go ahead and work on him down. Don't just head go headlong into certain death guys ever. Even if you're up, I always try to always play conservative. Now I'm going to go up and get that beacon, or maybe I'll let my teammate over to the left there get him. Yeah, you get it. Only takes one to get a beacon, right? And I think that's it. I think we might have got this one, guys. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Well, that was a lot of fun. I think we got this victory. Woohoo! Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you learned something there with that Zeus Fury at the beginning there. Always keep your chest covered and use the, your cover to uh, uh, keep yourself protected and take advantage of the long rage on the Zeus. Hope you had a good time watching. Uh, as always, keep them blue, and we'll see you on the battlefield, guys. Take care now.